Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Taga Bay back out of here with another video, aka Game Life. Usually I say it the opposite way, but uh, I guess not this time. Whatever. Anyways, as you guys can see in the title of this video, this is a guide for people that are starting the game, a guide to people that are not understanding how to play the game, or when people want to play this game, but they want to get better and they don't understand everything in the game. So this will help you so much, guys. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So basically, in the beginning, it will start with three characters, which would be Luffy, not this Luffy, um, Ace, and some other guy that I don't know who he is. Okay? Basically, after that, it shows you how to fight and all that. Fighting style is easy. Basically, just click once they have a special attack. But they don't show you. The tutorial really does not show you much. Like, I was confused. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain everything for you guys right now. So I'm going to have to be moving my camera a lot. But, all right. Basically, there's a shop here. This is where you can buy your coins. There will be multiple stuff here. Okay, there, there it is. pops up. Once you buy these things, it's, for you it's going to say double. Double means you're obviously getting double what you buy. So you'll get like, you know, instead of 750 gems, you'll get 15,000 gems. Uh, oh my god, what did I just say? You'll get 1,500 gems. All right. Basically, that's what double means. For everyone, it will double it. Besides the SRM card and M card, SRM card for 30 days you get 20, 250 gems, and for the mini M card you get 120. I my uh, SRM card just finished. It was amazing. Basically, throughout when you buy your VIP will go up, and VIP is important because find VIP you get VIP gifts, you get double rewards, um, you get so much VIP, guys. If you can even, like, if you're really into this game, send one dollar, and your VIP will go up, and you're getting so many things, and it's unbelievable. But let's get right into the shop still. So that's how VIP works. Next, you got time limit. Now, time limit right now, there's no characters out, but there'll be characters. And then you can buy characters from your gems. This is the best way to buy characters, in my opinion. Now... What character is the best? Okay, I will show you. I don't like. I like Goku for an example. All right, now Goku is a three S star. So three S star, that is the best there can be. Stars, like you see how there's one, two, three stars there. That doesn't matter. Like, no, it doesn't matter. But I'll get into it. You want to have a person with three S's. That is the best part of the game. Stars get your character stronger, but S's are the best. Now, Gochita is the strongest character I have. Even in power, you see he's lower. And I'll get into that later. I have a triple S um, Naruto. And I have a triple S Luffy and Goku, Gochita. Those are my three triple S's I have currently. Anyways, as you guys can tell now, triple S's are the best. But what if you have an S in this much stars? He's amazing, but he's not as good as all the three S's I have. There's two S's. Which is obviously great too. And there's one S and lower. You're going to try to lean at least for double S and higher in my opinion. <clears throat> but that's just my opinion once again. Okay, now the best character in this game from what I've heard is getting Zero. Zero is a guy from Fairy Tale. If you watch the Fairy Tale series, you'll probably want to get him. Basically how you get Zero is... Sorry, I don't know why I exited that. You need to get Natsu... And Lucene. I'll explain that later when I think of it. I should. Ex there's so much more things I can explain right now. Now, there's a thing you have here. All right, sorry, I have to use the camera a lot. There's a thing you have here called activity. Now, activity is amazing. Like, when I mean amazing, I mean amazing. If you spend $60 in this game, you get your first triple S. For an example, I will show you what I mean. All oh, first, let's check it is. So, basically, from here, you can also buy characters. Um, Every day, it'll give you a few gems and... Uh, parts of characters. Um, alright. As you guys see, you can look at this award. Okay, so if you spend... First of all, if you spend like 30 bucks, you get double it. Even... So basically, right now, if you're a noob... Well, not a noob. Just starting. And you're spending $31, you're getting double. And you're getting triple, basically. So, get that over 7500 Honestly, because it's, it's a better price. Maybe you get a little bit less, but it's still a better price in my opinion, so get that. But actually, if you spend 7500 which is 60 bucks, you can get Obito, which is a triple S. Amazing card. I don't have it, but I know it's just amazing. Um, So as you guys see, there's so many things here. 
so basically, you can complete these stuff as it says, like it says battle. So battle time three times, battle five times, you battle five times, this is what you get as the reward. <clears throat> and then you got all these summon, great, if you buy like gems every day, 2,250, then that means you'll be getting five days if you buy it, you'll get Meliodas, which is an amazing card too. My friend has him, I've tried him, and there's all these rewards that later on you'll see here you collect it if you buy the daily thing. Here's this one, this one, and this, okay? The reason why I'm not going to get into those activity stuff is because later on you will understand that. It's like, like the first day you probably understood all these type of things. Activity was something, I didn't know anything about this game, but activity was something I knew pretty easily. And basically when you get rewards here, you can like, oh, okay, I don't have it all. You can go scroll down and get some characters. I got Gochita from here. And guys, let me tell you, I, I saw Gochita for 60,000, um, 16,000, not 60,000, 60,000, 16,500. And then like a month later, 12,500, which you know I bought that. And same goes for Luffy. I saw him for 60,500, 22,000. And then I bought him for around 14,000, which is not the best price because two days later, I saw him for 12,500. But that's how the game goes. <coughs> okay, so now let's get into the hard part of this game. <coughs> I'm going to click Luffy real quick. Basically, as you guys see in my character, it says Luffy plus 5 right over there. Okay, even if I point, you won't know what I'm pointing at. But all right, let's just upgrade this a little bit. Okay. This means, okay, so you start with this, the gunning rampage. You start with one move. If you reach plus two, you'll get another move. Plus three, you'll get... Plus three, you don't get anything. Plus four, you get a second gear. Plus second gear. Plus five, you get the million of pirates. Now, everyone has their different modes of attack. He has up to a plus six, which is unbelievably amazing. That's what's special about Luffy. But now you might be asking, okay, that's awesome, but how do I get him there? So basically, you're going to go to upgrade. And then you click... You can't do this for Luffy since it's not out yet. Uh, let's go for moderate. Okay. So you click upgrade, and then you hit this, and then you go f this. So I'll repeat that again, okay? You hit your character. He'll be here. Go to upgrade. <coughs> okay. And then you got to click where it says no item times one, which is here. After that, it says zero five. Click on that where it says a zero five. And then... I'll uh, just get into the battle. You'll loot one of these. You fight them. <coughs> Alright. And then once... Let's just do this battle real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Alright. They're not so hard. It doesn't matter what... How much... If your characters are good. So I got one. After that, I can literally just loot everything. One key loot. Which means I'll probably upgrade him. Yeah, because he's a... Just upgrade number one. I don't even know why I did that. Just to show you guys. That was kind of a waste. But it's okay. After that, as you guys see, not only does he get a second move. He gains like around 10,000 more power. Which is a ton. That's a lot of power. Oh, then, then he can do upgrade. Follow. Okay, so he has to be level 10. Yeah, so he has to be level 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Like stage 5, 50. Stage 4, 40. And you guys know where it's going. That's important part of the game, guys. Definitely one of the most important parts in this game. All right, so that's I just wanted to get that off. You guys definitely want to get as much reach as you can get. Like, plus five is great. Plus six is insane. Not every character has plus six. For him, oh, another thing I'll, I'll key note here is you need to get consumed train. So, like, I'm, I'm about to upgrade him, but I can't because I don't have this train thing. Which I recently stuttered, and it is the most annoyingest thing in the world. It's probably going to take me a long time till I get him. But, till you guys get there, there's a long, long, long time. Next, another very important thing is there's tasks. Now, by tasks, what you can do is do all the things they say here, and then you can get XP, which will help you leveling up. Now, uh, alright, I can do that. It says give 10 bits. Send them all. We just did that. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do anything with the fight right now. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, I'm just searching something without a fight. Buy one item from the secret shop. We'll do that. Okay, confirm. I bought an item. 
Alright, buy this item, and then I bought an item, bam. I'm gaining XP, and that's how you level up. Now, there's battle, right? So sorry for the noise, I don't know what that is. If you battle, as you guys see, you have to be level 55. You can't level your characters up if your main account is level is lower. So, like, since this is level 50, as you guys see on my screen, I cannot level up any of my characters higher than 50. He's 50, he's 50, he's 50, he's 50, he's 50. Because those are my main characters. But I cannot level them up higher than 50, which is a pain and very hard. That's why task is the most important thing, in my opinion, in this game. Next, obviously, battle is the story mode, how you do the story and all that. And every time you win in task, you'll go to mainline and you'll get these gems. That will help you a lot. Next is the shop. So this is the draw card. You have this that you get like five free every day. So for every like 10 minutes, you get free five times. Um, This, after 48 hours, you get one free. Guys, do not buy the 10 times. It is absolutely terrible. And the holy, if you get there with VIP, terrible. Save your gems. That's definitely a fact. But as you guys see in the shop, it says shop, right? So you'll click the shop. And then here, you have all these things that you can buy. These characters, as you guys see, it changes. So I'm going to buy that. All right. I'm going to, like, you can just buy whatever you want from here. I got Garo from here, which was amazing for me. And now let me explain how you get those type of things. So VIP is honestly the only way I get it. As you guys say, I can't get my gifts because I just got it. But VIP gives you, like, 800 on everything a day. So for, like, two days, you're getting, like, a ton, 1,600. That is a lot. So that's how I get it from VIP. Um, you can get it from just playing and all types of things like recycle. So if you want to resolve a character, like let's say, um, I don't know, let's resolve someone I don't really care about. Him. Okay, so resolve. I'm wasting six gems. We're getting 1,000 and 120, I think that was. 1,120. That's how you gain that. All the others, I don't know. I gained from VIP. I think that is actually the only way. And sometimes from mailbox. Now, <clears throat> okay, so you get that and all that. How do I get gems? So, obviously, VIP and buying. That is obvious. I'm not just going to say that. The biggest way, though, I don't buy every second. So, I can't get gems from buying every second. So, the biggest way I get gems is literally by daily tasks and arena. Literally, go high rank on arena. Like, even if you're not in the top 100, you're getting gems. You're getting not 200 gems, but you'll get 60 gems. And then you sleep, you wake up, and then you it says your reward for being placed, I don't know, 264 gems. So every day you're waking up, you're getting 64 gems. The more you get higher you get the double. Like, I used to get 64, and now I'm at 200. That's because my team is pretty good. Like, if you're a starter, your team won't be as good as mine. But you'll still be getting 64 gems. And as soon as you wake up, another 64 gem, which will help you. This is the way I've gotten to 5,000 right now in gems. I started from nothing in 5,000. Sometimes there's these daily stuff that you'll get 1,000. And sometimes from activities after 30 days, I got 1,000. And then plus, there is rewards. Rewards is this. You can collect from time. If you play 90 minutes, you get 20 gems. And then from here, you can get a lot of gems. And then 10 days, I get 220 gems. Sometimes we'll say 7, 150. The longer you wait, the more you get. And then there's code, which that doesn't matter. So basically, arena. Try to get as high as you can in arena. If you lose, your rank won't go down. If they beat you, though, the rank will go down. Now, basically what I mean is if you play and you lose a match, you'll stay the same rank. But if that person plays versus you, then you will lose ranks, which is not good. You want to get as high as you could. To be number one, you'll get a ton of gems. But I'm at 46. I'm getting 200. When I was like 200, I think, I got 64, which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Um, obviously, mailbox, I said, sometimes you'll get more gems. and activities, you'll complete stuff. And then out of nowhere, I'll be like, get 200 gems. Every time you have a dot from activity, just collect it. Always collect it. You know, not so long ago, there was 30 days. And then after 30 days, you collect a double S and a thousand gems. And I just did that, and it was amazing. All you have to wait is 30 days. Next is after you buy a certain amount of gems, you get this wheel thing. It, to it tells you how much you need to buy here. 1,250. Yeah, this wheel one sucks, honestly. 
but you can spill a wheel if you get that much. So maybe like if you want to buy today, um, like I don't know, seven thousand five hundred gems, and you see this wheel, maybe wait tomorrow and get a triple, full triple S wheel or like three triple S wheels and get your chances even higher. And then there's another wheel, same thing here. Um, here it's oh, here it's really good. So if you have money to spend. Definitely spend it. I really want um, Luffy's dad. I really want um, the guy from Bleach. Um, the first Tokage. And I don't know who this is for some reason. But I want it. Those. I think it's actually um, from Fairy Tail the Leader. Those things are important. Alright, next is their hunt. So once you're at a certain level, you get a hero box you can haunt. Once you're level 40, you can have the pet box. And Awoken Box is once you're level 50, so I recently just unlocked it. Also, note in activities, guys. From leveling up, you'll gain stuff. Like, you'll gain Goku S. I don't have it. I don't know where it is right now. But from leveling up, you get so much things. Like, I just leveled up and I got Itachi, which is a double S. But that's level 50. Level 60, you get a lot of things. Like, you get, like, 35 um, shards of um, Luffy and, like, 1,700... Gems, 1,750 gems, which is great. Um, definitely, like I said, activity is the best way to also get gems and characters and all those type of things. For me, actually, the best way of getting gems is arena, like I said, but activity is just so close to there. Next, you got pet. It's when you get a pet, you can just put your pet, you know. They don't really do anything. My pet is uh, the first one. Um, I got the nine tails, the first tail. So whatever you want, um, this is Nine Tails. You know, you can unlock pets, which is pretty cool. Nothing special, though. You know, it's just lame. You know, doesn't really do anything. Um, okay, that basically breaks that down. Uh, I just want to put a guide there that can help for everyone. Honestly, I hope this will help you. I'm not gonna wrap it up now. Next, there's a guild. You can join a guild, which can help you get a lot of XP, a lot of coins, and all those type of things. Getting coins will help you in tasks, activity, VIP, rewards, mailbox, everything you get coins, guys. But you might be like, oh, I don't need coins. In the start, you don't. But later on, coins is like, it's a bummer. It is definitely a bummer. Um. Okay, so like I said, the big thing, people want to get zero, 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 zero. All right, so I'm going to get you there. First, I'm going to go to a follow real quick. All right, so you need Natsu Musi. That you need, so just get him. <clears throat> now, you have to put him on s plus five. Him and Natsu, awaken for level 50. In my opinion, it is not worth it. I will show you everything. So basically, you have to hit this plus button and Fedora. And basically, oops, combine, and then go to Zeref. So Natsu and Lucy level 50, stage 5, stage 5, that's plus 5, plus 5, that's what stage is. Awaken level 3, awaken level 3, and 5 stars. Now if you have it, do it, because you get a Zeref in the same thing. Uh, level 50, stage 5, awaken 3, and star 5. Which is amazing, but it's too hard to get Natsu and Lucy to there. I just don't think it's worth it. That ugh, I always have ads for some reason. It's just I don't know. I don't want to do it because it is way too hard. You know, you can get zero for twenty two thousand seven hundred fifty. That is a lot, but I mean, you're not gonna get them either way. Like I could have got that if I saved up. I bought Natsu and Lucy for eleven thousand five hundred. If I didn't get Luffy, I could have got him. You know, or Naruto. Actually, Naruto I got from activities because I bought a uh, sixty dollar pack. But I'm just saying, I could have got him. If I was thinking it through, I would have had him. Next, and really important, is word. That's basically you upgrade your stuff, and it makes everybody stronger. makes your mid, back, front. Now, you're in a game, right? And you don't know where to put your slots. Like, should I have two in mid, two in front, one back? I don't know. That is only up to you. Now, if you saw videos of, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see any guide videos, to be honest. But if you saw videos of, like, people playing the game, because there's obviously people playing the game, um, you'll see how he fights, they fight, and they fight different than how I fight. And he fights different than how he fights, you know? There's a lot of videos about this game. 
and I make like a part video. And if you guys see, like I always change my fighting style. It depends where I'm going. You know, I'm just gonna do continue and show you. Right now, I'm rolling with three front, one mid, and um, one back, which isn't the best idea. Usually, I go um, two mid, two front, and one back. I usually go with one back. That's because I want Urza to stake in my team, so that's why I put there Urza, because Urza is a tank. And that's that for my, like, this, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you're pushing, if you have, like, a triple S on front, like, three triple S's in front, and then an SS in the mid, and an S in the back, and you're like, oh, I can't put triple S, like, three people on the front, even if they're triple S. No, go for it. Because you will do a lot of damage, and in your back and the mid people will be the key parts of how to slice it up and win the game. That's just in the future. I don't know. Do whatever you want there. Like, that is not me to choose. Um. Alright, I'm just trying to think of what's next. Why is that working? Okay. Uh, this is your... Okay, never mind. I don't need to go after that. You'll... Okay, whatever. This is your settings. Choose what's your pictures and all that. Not very important or relevant right now, but... Whatever. Um, I'm thinking that... Oh, bag. Okay. Bag isn't something I ever use. I don't know. It's like you can get... Like, basically, you do this and get some coins, like, see, sell. You can't sell them for, like, gems, which is probably what everybody wants. But, no, you can't. Um, yeah, besides that, I think I might just drop the video because there's nothing big. Obviously, when you play, it's fit. Um, this is what gets away. You'll never have zero. Literally, it has never happened to me that I have zero. Even without collecting my friend's awards. Like, I have not collected, like, oh my god, I have not collected so long. I'm gonna accept all. There was more after that, too. Oh, there's a lot. Um, obviously, I just accept all. The reason why it's not letting me, there's no more time to get into today. Which means, like, um, I'm in max right now. I'm in max. Um, by your level up, it gets more, I think, I'm not sure about that, that, I don't know, by your level up, you can get more of it, I'm not sure about that, um, for now, I think I concluded the whole thing, I'm just gonna conclude a few little things, um, there's coin trail, basically, I'll just show you what you do there, because this is actually important, I just reminded myself somehow, basically, you get coins from here, you can do it two times, I just did it on the easiest mode for some reason, I usually do it on the hardest, or medium. Um, this is how much damage you do to see how much your defense does. I do a ton of damage. And if you're new, you probably don't do. And some of you might just do twice as much as I do. I know I'm not the best in the game. I try to do what I could. Um, but you'll get a lot of coins either way. If you're new in this game, do the easiest mode. If you're decent, medium. And if you're a pro at this game, then, well, you know, do the hardest. But if you're a pro in this game, then... Probably don't even need to watch this video. <laughs> but yeah, this is how you get, like, all the good things. So let's just do um, this. Alright, now we get away from things. And this is a good way. This is also in your task, so you have to do all these type of things. So might as well knock them out. I'm going to hopefully do a part video soon in the next month. I'll try. I just don't play the game too much, but I do play the game. I, I mean, I play the game a lot, and I don't play the game a lot. I do arena battles. I love doing arena battles right now. Plus, I was just on a vacation, and I just started school today. Um, I know people don't start on Sundays. We have school on Sunday where I am. Um, Good luck to everyone in school that is just starting. Good luck to you all. All right. All right, so we have 14 seconds, 13 Okay, okay, okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, that is over with. <coughs> so I did a decent amount. Maybe my world record. Nah, nah it's not my world record. Alright, submitting, submitting. Basically, that's that. This is very good, in my opinion. Definitely do it, and then you get some coins here. And I guess my internet is pretty bad right now, but oh well. And then you got Arena, obviously, Adventure, which you should definitely do. This, which you should definitely do. Um, this, Sky Arena, I didn't get into yet, but I will. New World, and Between Dimensions, and Team Ninja Tasks, 
and Grand Magic Games. Which I don't know why I just clicked. I don't like Grand Magic Games. I I never did it to be honest, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Everyone here is really good though. Um, yeah, that's literally gonna wrap the video up. I feel like there's not much like I said to talk about. Last thing is, like I said, to collect characters, you might just get them a hundred percent, or you can get them like thirty percent. Like I'm five on going, but I have going already. Um, I'm thirty five on this football girl. Uh, let's see. Oh, she's just a double S. Never mind. That shows like a triple S. Oh, um, I'm pretty close to get Obito. Ah, not triple. Not, not really close. I'm at 30 for him. I really want him because his special thing is like if sometimes you hit him and it just doesn't go through. As you can see, he's a triple S. Um, Ichiko, I'm not that close. I really want him. He's also a triple S. Yeah, that's going to wrap up the video. And I said that like 100 times, I think. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you think and if it helped you. And thank you so, so, so much. Um, it's been me and I'm out. Peace.